Good evening ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We've got another expert quiz, as you can see by the thumbnail and the title, it is the food and drink expert quiz this evening. So, do you like to eat and drink? <laughs> Simple as that. Um, this will be the quiz for you. 10 questions tonight only, um, with a mixture of general knowledge and pictures. Um, couldn't really get the two rounds uh, in there this evening, unfortunately. Right, all you need is a pen, a piece of paper, work by yourself, go up against a friend or uh, family member, um, see what you can get out of 10 and let me know down below in the comments what you do get out of 10 if you're new here hit subscribe hit the little bell it takes 10 seconds completely free and it means the world to the channel so thank you so much if you've already done that if you haven't thank you so much if you're gonna do that um, here we go then so Tuesday 6 p.m. as always here's your expert quiz and we're always live at 6 50 p.m. on a Friday so get your pens and papers at the ready here we go so here's your round one your only round General knowledge, question one. What type of beans are used to make baked beans? Okay, so is it A, Bolotti beans, B, Haricot beans, C, Cannellini beans, or D, Fragalot beans? I think that's how you pronounce them. <laughs> I'm not sure, but yeah. What type of beans are used to make baked beans? A, B, C, or D? Question two, what does IPA stand for when referring to alcohol? So what does IPA stand for when referring to alcohol? Question three, what year did the Great British Bake Off first appear on our TV screens? What year did the Great British Bake Off first appear on our TV screens? You need it bang on as well, by the way. Next question, question four. Name the curry dish. What type of curry is it? Question five. Name this famous chef. So name this famous chef for question five. Question six. What flower does the spice saffron come from? So what flower does the spice saffron come from? Question seven. Which of these cocktails traditionally does not contain gin? Is it Bramble, Collins, Gimlet or Cosmopolitan? Which of these cocktails traditionally does not contain gin? So three of them do. Is it A, Bramble, B, Collins, C, Gimlet, or Gimlet, however you want to pronounce it, and D, Cosmopolitan? Question eight, Ahmed al Ghaffar is known for having the most credible evidence of discovering what? 
So Ahmed Al Ghaffar is known for having the most credible evidence of discovering what? Question nine. Eccles cakes come from what UK county? So Eccles cakes, lower Eccles cakes <laughs> come from what UK county? And your last question of the quiz this evening is. In Indonesian and Malay, and Malay cuisine, what does the word nasi refer to? Or nasi? I don't know how you pronounce it. Nasi or nasi? So, in Indonesian and Malay cuisine, what does the word nasi or nas, na, nas, nasi yeah, refer to? Okay, that will complete your food and drink expert quiz this evening. We're going to go into your answers now. So swap papers with whoever you're playing up against if you need to, uh, if you think that they're a bit of a cheater. Um, yeah, and if you need a little bit more time and any questions, give the video a quick pause. Now we're going to go straight into your answers. So your question one, what type of beans are used to make baked beans? Is it bolotti, haricot, cannellini or flagiot? Flagiolot, I can't pronounce that one. Uh, it's haricot beans. Question two, what does IPA stand for when referring to alcohol? It's not India Pale Ale, I am very sorry about that. Uh, it's isopropyl alcohol. Um, isopropyl alcohol, it's uh, spelled I-S-O-P-R-O-P-Y-L, alcohol. Um, question three, I mean, if you've got India Pale Ale as well, just give yourself a point. Either one, both IPA, but yeah. What year did the Great British Bake Off first appear on our TV screens? It is 2010, so give yourself a point if you got bang on. If you won either way, got it wrong, unfortunately. <laughs> Question four, name the curry dish. That is a Jal Frazy. Question five, name the famous chef. That's Marco Pierre White. Question six, what flower does the spice saffron come from? It comes from a crocus. Uh, see if I can get a picture of one. Uh, crocus flower. comes from something like that. Question seven, which of these cocktails traditionally does not, not contain gin? Is it A, Bramble, B, Collins, C, Gimlet, Gimlet, whatever you, how you pronounce it, D, Cosmopolitan, it is a Cosmopolitan. Doesn't, does not traditionally uh, contain gin. Question eight, Ahmed Al Ghaffar is known for having the most cre credible evidence of discovering what? It's coffee drinking or coffee, you know, drinking coffee. Um, if you've got anything along them lines, give yourself a point. But yes, he's, the, he's known for having the most credible evidence of discovering it. Question nine, Eccles cakes come from what UK county? It is Lancashire. And we'll be going into your final question and your final answer for this evening. Thank you so much for playing. Like I say, if you're new here and you've enjoyed the quiz, find us here every Tuesday at 6pm, every Friday night at 6.50pm for the big live quiz. Sometimes we're doing giveaways as well, so just hit subscribe, hit the little bell, and you'll get notified for whenever we upload or go live. Your answer to question 10, in Indonesian and Malay cuisine, what does the word nasi or nasi refer to? It's rice. So, thank you so much for playing. You've got your tiebreaker up next. So count up your scores. Um, what do you get out of 10? If you've drawn with anyone, you've got a tiebreaker now. So, whoever gets the closest to the uh, answer gets an extra point and gets the win. 
even if you don't need it just play along anyway for a bit of fun let's see what you can get um, so I'll give you another 10 seconds to count up your scores and have a drink right here is your tiebreaker for this evening what year was Gordon Ramsay born in so the closest to the year gets the point what year was Gordon Ramsay born in the famous British Scottish chef I'll give you 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. 1966. Uh, the year England won the World Cup. So, thank you so much for playing, everybody. It's been a pleasure this evening. Um, like I say all the time, join us 6 pm every Tuesday, join us 6 50 pm every Friday. Uh, but for now, I've been the Swaggy Quizmaster, and there's one thing for me to say peace.